Welcome to the video. So in yesterday's video, I showed you how Microsoft 365 is now easier to use on Chrome OS when you're dealing with your Word, Excel and PowerPoint files. Do check that one out after this video if you haven't seen it. But in today's video, I thought I'd show you how LibreOffice can be installed on your Chromebook as an alternative office solution. This is an open source, free to use office suite, so no problems there. And you've got equivalents to all the big office uh, kind of programs that you think about. So word processing and kind of spreadsheet programs like Word and Excel that you may traditionally think about. So we're going to get Linux installed. We're going to use these first two commands to then update it. And then we're going to install LibreOffice using just one command. So I'm going to put these in the pinned comment and also in the video's descriptions so you've got them there to reference. So first things first, we're going to install the Linux functionality onto your Chromebook if you haven't already got that turned on. So click down by the launcher and type Linux and you're going to see this result with the settings cog. So we're going to go into the settings menu and you'll see this, the Linux development environment. And we're going to click turn on and you're going to get this prompt. It's going to download about 450 meg of data. OK, we we'll click next. Now on this next screen, you'll see your username. It's going to default to whatever you're logged onto your Chromebook with. You can obviously modify that if you decide to. And the disk size that it's going to allocate is going to default 10 gig. You can customize it, but I'll go with the default. That's going to be ample for installing LibreOffice. OK, we'll click install. What I might do at this point is skip forward. This is going to take a few minutes or several minutes to, first of all, download the virtual machine. So that's going to depend on your internet speed and then to actually install the Linux uh, container onto your Chromebook. So that's probably going to depend more on the local processing power of your Chromebook. So I'll skip forward in just a minute. OK, that's actually run pretty quickly for me, just a few minutes to get to this next point. So what you should see on the screen when it's finished is this, the Linux terminal. You can find it down again via the launcher in your apps as terminal. And this is where we're going to type in the commands that we want to run. So I'm going to bring the, uh, the dock up again. Let's just see if we can move that window to the side. There we go. So the first command we're going to run to uh, update Linux is the sudo space apt hyphen get space update. Enter. Let's let that run through. OK, and then the next one we're going to run is sudo apt get dist upgrade dash y that's going to say yes to any prompts that we would have otherwise got to install and use the disk space so let's let that run through okay i've just sped that last bit up as well that didn't take too long and now we're going to run the third command here to actually get LibreOffice installed so sudo space apt hyphen get space install space LibreOffice space hyphen y again just to prompt yes which would be to um, queries that it will other come, otherwise come back with about do you want to install taking up this much disk space so let's just let this run through again good time to go and get a uh, cup of coffee or tea or walk away and we'll come back when it's finished OK, so about four minutes or so there. And once you get back to the prompt of your username, you know that it's done. So we can now go ahead and close the terminal. I'm just going to minimize these other windows. And that means that we finished with the Linux setup. We finished with the install of LibreOffice via Linux. So we're now ready to use it. And I can just show you a little bit of what it actually looks like and where you're going to find it. So click down in the bottom left on the launcher again. And if you scroll through, you're going to find a group called uh, Linux apps. So if we click on there, you're going to see now you've got all the Linux uh, versions of LibreOffice apps in there. So the blue icon, this is their writer uh, program. So their Microsoft Word equivalent, if you like, their word processor. And what's quite nice to do, if we just right click on there and then say pin to shelf, it's going to be easy to launch it from the shelf and I'll show you uh, the calc as well which is their excel equivalent or their spreadsheet so let's just say right click pin to shelf again and obviously you can explore these others but let's just open these up for the first time and show you so pretty quick to open you get a little tips menu for the first time and yeah it's a word processing um, program so it's going to look pretty familiar to you 
um, you know, make sure to like and sub for more like this. Hopefully this has been something useful. Let's just launch the, uh, the calc program as well and just show you that, yeah, it's a spreadsheet. Um, it's going to work in a very similar way to you, you're used to with Google Sheets or with Excel. So I hope this video has been useful. Please do give it a like to help it reach more people. Please consider a sub to the channel for more like this. And why not check out this video next? Cheers.